Over 50 tornadoes have been confirmed in this country since May, and with roughly one month to go in Canada's tornado season, we might see tornado activity revving up in one part of the country. The 2023 tornado season's been a little lackluster thus far, with the exception of some impressive storms in Alberta and a good tornado outbreak. Ontario is certainly picking up the slack for some of the other provinces, we are slowly coming up towards the normal with, uh, let's say, about a month left in the season. Looking back at some notable tornado events this year, the strongest by far was an EF4 tornado in Alberta on Canada Day, which reached top wind speeds of 275 kilometers per hour and completely destroyed three homes between the towns of Didsbury and Carstairs. Just a few weeks earlier on June 14th, 10 tornadoes touched down in Alberta in the same day, roughly three and a half hours apart. All were rated EF0. Further east, an outbreak in the Ottawa suburb of Barhaven on July 13th brought two tornadoes, both rated EF1. It was determined they had actually crossed paths, damaging 125 homes in the process. This tornado season has already brought about double the yearly average of twisters to Ontario, and it seems those living in this part of the country should not be letting their guard down. For the remainder of the tornado threat season, our attention's actually going to be shifting from the prairies to eastern Canada. That's thanks to the two battling air masses, the Gulf Air and the Arctic Air, is actually going to be shifting towards the south, and that's where our jet stream is going to be bringing the shear and the instability for the remainder of the season.